Hi, hello. Hi. Hello. Well, how many shoes are? Can I just like fix the audio thing? It's always like always off tune when I get to this part. The last octopus. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess like it was talking about like the very, very, very first artifact created, and then I, I guess I am. Hello, everyone. But we have a few more though, Hello, so it's not like I'm the only one left. Um, <laughs> welcome to a very obviously special uh, tavern taco moment. As once again, uh, we are here as uh, Square Enix Donco, and joining me is Square Enix Limico. Oh, as hello. our okay, just. <laughs> Uh, so for those who haven't seen that, I just feel um, like something about taco is that I already have a call in my name. Um, so I don't need to change my name. <laughs> tacos. Ah. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, we do have some other different emotions um, that we can do throughout. But Erika is going to be in this fashion. Uh, um, we don't know yet. No guarantee, but we don't know yet. Um, bring out our taco selves here. <laughs> um, and so you can enjoy your reactions. I know Limiko loves to be uh, our our little angry taco. <laughs> As when always, it, yes, yes. When it comes to a certain luck with guidance, I don't know if might be a little bit more lucky than another person. It's not the uh, of all eight perhaps, yet, right? Perhaps. It's not anything um, special. Yes. With that being said, uh, like the of all eight is next month, right? So, so I'm far. thinking of something else like uh, Erika. We are here to update you guys on everything that's going to be arriving to Octopath Zero Two C. Maybe Erika Octopath is like the Bestow of all eight character. Um, yeah, and I hope everyone is enjoying our little taco selves, and I hope everyone's been well. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed the debut of Nina, Lana, and Lavina, and we currently have the Gertrude Cup race currently Let's going see. on. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, we'll let everyone know what's going to be coming out for the next few weeks. Yeah, I hope everyone's been well. And then also, because this is our closest stream to April Fool's, I just thought it was a good time and a good excuse to bring out the tacos. Um, so that mm -hmm. is why uh, we are giving. I can't find the old map, but the change it up a bit. The older the race is for the few weeks, not to you. like no, if I ever that. only I log in when I need to do the story, yeah. when I want to do the um, story, is when I log said, in. We can move on. Like everything to else on the ENT for me, I just I just Everyone don't do it. What is going to be happening today? Um, so yes, this is our March twenty fifth Tavern Talk. Uh, we want to welcome all Octopath uh, travelers to our stream. Um, along with that, it's we're going to be giving our latest talk around town. So we're going to go uh, through our slides first today. Octopath, and yes, Octopath. we do have a giveaway. Um, I will let everyone mm -hmm. know that we're going to be giving away 10 COTC dice bags, the same dice bags that we do feature when we do the dice roll. Um, so we will be giving away 10 of those later in stream. Um, if you do command rules, you can uh, definitely check out the rules right now ahead in advance. Um, and we just ask that when we do open the giveaway, because it's not open yet, just put it out there, it's not open yet, so don't spam. To enter, to enter the giveaway yet um, because it's simply not open. Um, do make sure that you are in the eligible region. Um, we don't have as much regions this time, um, and I will go a little bit more in detail about that in, in later in stream, uh, just to let everyone know. Um, but please do make sure that you are in the eligible region Wait, Wait. Um, and that you do have your whispers open because uh, it's important uh, to have your whispers open, or at the very least, you're able to whisper. Oh, this us, is fine. Um, if you are a winner, I okay. Wait, let me check. I'm just putting it out there. Um, so yes, we'll be doing that giveaway. Um, and we'll be opening up the giveaway after we go through our slides today. So we're going to go through slides first, and then we'll do the giveaway. 
Um, and then we're going to do some gameplay with our dub build. Uh, we'll preview some new travelers and some content. And then we're going to roll the dice today. And then we're going to wish everyone on their happy travels. But yeah. Um, with that being said, we could head into our slides for today. Indeed. So let I thought me it's... go into that. I thought it's the usual volume, though, the way the microphone for me. And there we go. And Limit's going to let us know a little bit more about the Gertrude Cup race. Is there anything I can turn of it down course, a bit? I'd be happy to. Oh, hello. So, just as a reminder, we want to remind everyone that the Gertrude Cups will be ending later today at 7 p.m. PDT, which will be 2 a.m. UTC tomorrow. We've really enjoyed seeing everyone's entries and taking on the Master Apothecary Gertrude herself, and we would hope that you all enjoyed taking her on. So, also, in regards to the community missions, I got good I'm news, happy to say that we've achieved Tier 3 okay for the news. number of group defeats and Tier 3 for the repost and shares. What is it? So we reached over 500 shares and over 500 entries for the community missions. So we want to thank everyone who worked together to reach these tiers. Also, and I want to stress this, <laughs> before the race form closes, if you haven't already, please make sure that you have filled out the Google form. Entries from those who do not fill out the Google form will not be counted and will not be valid. In order to keep things fair for everybody, we just want to make sure we remind you all about this point. So if you haven't already, fill out the Google form. And for those who are wondering, rewards for the race will be delivered on April 24th after the entry period ends. So again, we want to thank everyone who participated in the Gertrude Cup race and for making it another successful community race. Yeah. Um, and just add on to that, just want to thank everyone in the community Good news, for I got um, making sure that we did reach uh, those the latter to A2, the uh, so congratulations to everyone who participated in the race. Um, and it was a very successful race, so I'm glad everyone has enjoyed taking on Gertrude again. Um, but yes, mm -hmm. um, always very important that you fill out the Google form. The Google form will be open for about five more hours uh, from right now, uh, currently we're speaking, so please do make sure uh, that you do fill out the form as people are pointing out in chat. That's, that's um, to be expected though, right? That's not really bad um, news, it's um, kind of expected. Reach out to us who it's only bad news, it's like when you go all the way and you got nothing. To fill out. Oh. Um, and it's very important <laughs> that you do fill out the form, because otherwise your entry will not be valid. So please do make sure that you fill out the form if you haven't. Uh, feel free to check out our socials. Um, the Gertrude Cup race is pinned on both of our socials. Um, so mm -hmm. you'll be able to find um, the Google form link right there in the post. If you have oh, so I'm already getting that too. I'm happy with that. Read in. Yeah. What, what, what is that? Um, I, think I think I'd still be more happy with Solon over Nefty, though. Something. Even though Nefty got fun. Regardless, uh, thank you for everyone who's entered the Gertrude Cup race. Um, and once again, making it a very successful I guess I finally got for I'm glad everyone's been enjoying mm. um, these revisits I guess that is okay for news. past Arena champions. You'll just have to wait and see what our next race is going to be. Mm hmm So, with that being said, though, we could head into our very first trailer for today. Ah, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> it sounds good to me. <laughs> um, let's take a look at our very first trailer, and then we'll return shortly after. Take a place, memory, Erika. No, it's my sea story. That's fine, too. Will you look on? This Divine Beast is my second favorite one. My first favorite one is the Phoenix. This is the second favorite one. Because it's just 8 hit. Like, 8 hit is very good for shield breaking, too. But a uh, question did they, did they release Nyagus yet? Like, the cat? Is, is, is that Nyagus and Ian yet? I saw a lot of excitement oh, there. Oh, it's Nyagus and Ian yet. I saw a lot of yet. For, for dogs. And also, a new Divine Beast. Um, I saw uh, quite a few excitement uh, right there in chat for that. But yes, um, we are excited to announce that the Ember Flame Story Part 2 
We'll be continuing. Now, I guess it's not and, uh, we'll not yet, on this way. This Wednesday on the 27th. But the dog is out yet, but the. Um, so I, I know, I know there's like a few more cat that's not out yet. Danger, like, so I think there's like, an, must restore like an, a special cat, like an orange a cat. A cat that only Part we two, get the after you clear the elite tower. Recruit. In addition, you can also look forward to the new divine beast, Lycian, who you can see featured in the image that we do have featured on right now. So, yes. Uh, we do have some lovely dog keepers. You can skip um, the animation in the setting. There's a setting you can like uh, check somewhere, like in the setting in a battle thing. That you'll be able to face, and you'll also be able to recruit. Look at all those dogs in chat. <laughs> <laughs> what for? If anyone ever struggle um, with the um, with the bestow but, all seven um, know, um, level one hundred NPC, um, right? Uh, Luca on this have a lot. Dog lovers here in chat. You might be also. That cat look like one of my you know, like cats I have fed. <laughs> What kind of dogs will they be able to get with this update? And I can show you guys. So, um, with the Ember Flame Story Part 2, uh, introducing Dog Keepers, we're happy to share that by completing Ember Flame Story Quest introduced in Part 2, uh, players will be able to receive Spirit Embers for the following four dogs. We'll be able to receive a Spirit Ember for the Black Dog, <sighs> the White Dog, the Black and Brown Dog, and the Umber Dog. Um, we hope you look forward to adding these loyal dog keepers to your party. And these good? They're not like super good, but they do have to the use. Like the white dog is for um, um, status effect cleansing. So to to just to make sure you're not paralyzed a ton that you don't want to be paralyzed. Uh, the black dog is old charge. <laughs> I use it on tat lock so I can get the uh, old fast so I can like get the three point. All of them. If I remember right choice, about the last choice. two dogs, one yeah, one is uh, one yeah, of these dogs, really I don't remember the color, but one of them... In they, which you do get to recruit the keepers. it's like really an cute, analysis. It's, really it's like they scan the, the enemy for um, weakness and then also lower like, everyone um, also um, magic weakness um, by five percent. Are in the game magic so for defense? Instance, I do remember there was a cat keeper quest that had Camilla <laughs> and her uh, children, which I really enjoyed. Um, and so I think that's really fun and cute. And so I'm looking forward to doing these dogs. Orange cat. Quests. That's the orange cat, Samantha. Yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed the cat keeper quest that came with part one. Honestly, I like it more when the when the pet they have a name in the story, so I can just name them after the name in the story. All the dogs because they're the Instead goodest. of having to come up with a name for them because they don't have a name in the story you when you do the quest. We won't make you choose. We won't make you choose. No worries. Get a Doberman. <laughs> is that is that is that a type of dog? What's a Doberman? Elfin dog would be would be would be great. Um especially for those. I just named it the Pokemon. Uh, Elfin's traveler story. Oh. Uh. Prediction of the character. I do not know. I do not think it's Erika. Um, so, yes, uh, we do hope everyone is looking forward to Everflame Story like, Part 2. If it's Erika, then it's Erika, but I don't think it's Erika. It's not anything special. Um, we We're also not also close to any anniversary. And the so Star of Chapter 8 is, um, is on the way. Yes, um, we're going to take a look at another trailer, and then uh, we will see everyone right after the trailer. Hey, who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? This upcoming trailer. Which of the four start? Oh, it's Kanadi. That's Kanadi, I think. Yeah, that's Kanadi. That's uh, that's Falco. That's Falco younger sister. I wonder if Kanadi got buffed though, like in the. Um, in the Taiwan version. Yeah, that's buff. Okay, I think that's buff. I think that's probably buff, right? I don't remember that skill in JP. Yep, this buff. Wait. Oh, they did bring over the they did bring over the buff. The buff that uh she has on the Taiwan version, they did bring it over. Oh, okay. You always say the all like oh, like a Japanese. Yes. You always uh, say uh Erika. Because Erika Because Erika, right? Noted, I just yeah, I'm just used to saying the, the Japanese name more than like, like it's easier for me to say the Japanese pronunciation yes, over the English pronunciation. The like how I say it with uh, Litarena and then um, like Erika and that. To be a passionate yeah. shield shaven is she good now with the buff? Who has received considerable uh, exclusive buffs outside of Japan? 
Honestly, and she's ready to steal I her think she's good. We're not that good. Sacred Place Traveler to arrive to Octopi Ops UTC. Like, her ultimate um, is good, right? But it's not aware, like so long as anything. Um, I actually though. recently did Falco's Traveler Story and I really enjoyed it. But for those who are unaware, Canary was first introduced in Falco's Traveler Story Canary. Um, as a prominent character and obviously as Falco's sister. And you can actually see Falco in the background um, of Canary's art right here. Um, but now she's ready to steal the spotlight. I wish I had like more character that's relation with the other character oh, though. Shambles. Like uh Hasumi Korn, the three character, the three trio character, the the Cromwood Kingdom. Yeah, it's it's really nice. Um Sadisa, Yux, and Edo Guy. So should we take a look at her skills um and detail some of her buffs? We can go in full detail about that. Um so uh as mentioned before, um, when we do detail buffs, I mean, anything that's highlighted in red is what has been changed. And I will detail specifically what has been changed. Uh, but first, we're going to go a little bit more in detail about her support skills. And then you'll, we'll go into your skills. And her skills specifically have received quite a few changes. And so I'll go a little bit more into that. But for everyone to know, uh, Canary is an agile thief who can dodge certain attacks and lower shield points with many of her skills. Uh, Canary has received exclusive buffs for several of, several of her skills. A uh, Canary support skill, Legend of the Beautiful Thief. Mm -hmm. We'll see that at the start of the battle, uh, Canary imparts self with Thief's Evasion. Erika is forgotten uh, like... Times. It will also grant self uh, Thief Levy? Evasion when oh, using a Levina? battle skill for two times. Uh, thief Evasion, we'll see that... I was talking, Canary, I was like, uh, for, for a while, I was thinking of like, talking thief about Levi. <laughs> up to a max of nine. Uh, this initial grant of Thief's Evasion at the start of the battle was increased from two times to four times as an exclusive buff. Uh, the support skill, her other support Elka skill, uh, Final 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 like we'll yeah. some attacks ex like, exclude delaying Elka, techniques. Uh, Canary remember what happened when they delayed Cyrus and Cyrus was, was so high for Ian? Like, count, which will be up like to people keep four. pestering them so to delay Cyrus, so they really just um, cannot just delay Elka um, or Lani for long. More, um, with four <sighs> after, to, to a max of four after her attack, um, after her main, like, main, main attack is done. Uh, Pursuit will see that Canary deals physical uh, dagger damage to a single foe with a potency of 40. And this will lower shield points even when striking weak points. So I will show this off in the dev build um, a bit later in gameplay. But yeah, um, she is very, very good um, at uh, uh, shield shaman. Do you think Kanadi will be a must have with her buff, especially with her? Nope. Like... On average, usually, I have, especially because um, skill. I have, like, like experienced like, it firsthand with uh, Temenos, and I can say for one fact that it does not replace Solan. Um, like, I can, we'll a I can make a visual drawing um, of that, I think, like, and it's, like, go, explain it's why, despite her old, this, like, second other type of Solan old, right? Here, it doesn't necessarily take um, away as well. And so I will go into full detail about all these. Um, but Ruby, Ruby but no, she's she's not a must-have. Telenos is not a must-have in JP either, so I doubt Kennedy will be the same here with that new with that new ult. Anything close when now? It's right in front of you right now. There's Kennedy. When consuming two At the Kennedy, Ditorena, the next. Four, the, and when consuming the, three BP, Ditorena is five. the next Ditorena, uh, and Erika are top by and Dr. Astra. And I'm afraid to play play that money. Also, has the crazy intense that guy. Yeah. Yeah, basically, something here in chat confirms. Like, you can get up to nine shields. I say that on, if Kanadi has come with a passive that, like, uh, inflict turn, defense down on breaking, right? I think she would be pretty, strong then. Pretty nice. But she doesn't, so I don't think that would make uh, us strong enough. Order, we'll see that Canary because the thing is, in JP, right? Physical, um, uh, before the buff, Kanadi can only deal a maximum of seven hit. Seven um, hit of any shield breaking um, to the enemy. Uh, and seven hit isn't enough because we already have Sonya with a six hit AoE. Um, so now they changed that to, uh, I think, 9 hit now, because the new move is like um, target, maximum 5 hit at max boost. Still select that target, which is really nice. But so even then, 9 hit is up to four still not that much. Like, it's not that uh, much to the point where you want, want, want to pull a character. Like, Sonya has um, a so bunch of other utility with her, too, like the dagger ultimate debuff and stuff, but Kanade doesn't have that, and the ultimate is, like, it's nice, but it's... Addition, um, thieves, triple... Anti attack. Well, we'll you're not going to use it in, in like Solon type team comp, but it does help your team a bit. Uh, so, three times with opponent seed 65, and it will lower physical attack and elemental attack by 15% for two turns. Uh, this skill will also lower shield points even when not striking weak points. And uh, so this skill specifically saw the addition of lowering physical attack, elemental attack by 15%. Rifle, and have uh, plus the added when I have the well gone, the level points even when not striking weak points. Hmm. Ah. Uh, Thief's Triple, Anti-Dagger, 
will deal physical dagger damage to a single foe three times to so opponent C65. But like, I can't, lower dagger, dagger I can't explain it well enough because it's very features. hot to explain it would, lower but shield points, even when not striking weak points. Even, the skill was changed even if Kennedy did buff three character at once, right? Lower, because the buff granted the entire front well, 50%, right? Was so even if she did buff Three so, character for them to the use skills, that 50% buff. So um, for a total of 150%, of right? Of some of the There's still <laughs> cases where um, but yeah, Solon is still better, is despite really the fact that he's only above 100% really compared, to, um, compared to um, Kennedy 150%. Um, I wonder if I can draw them. Let me put up a draw pad or something. Um, Please wait. And we'll show that off in gameplay too. I wonder if I can do it. So go on to some of our other skills. Okay, his paint. guard will deal physical dagger damage to a single foe. Three times with opponent C65, and it will lower physical defense and elemental defense by 15% for two turns. Um, this skill will also lower shield points even when striking weak points. Uh, this skill was uh, even when not uh, when even when not striking weak points. Oh, uh, this yeah. skill was changed to hit think, info three times think, instead of just look. one time with the potency change to reflect that. In addition, this skill now lowers shield points. It, it, it is visible. Okay. Those weak points. I hope you guys don't mind this a bit. Let me uh, try to see if I try it. Impart self so, with evasion times one and restore um, our own SP by a fifty. Ah. Uh, um, afterwards, uh, Canary will move to the background. It's so hard to draw with a mouse. So here's Solon and as an and here's Cannon. Now oh, this is annoying. And then we have Assassinate, so, who, um, and it's, it's, it's not a, a buff skill, but for those who have played the Falco, they will recognize Assassinate. It's a tough um, uh, Solon like Assassinate Kennedy. Runs in the family. So, um, but Assassinate is a really great skill, and it will deal... So Solon gave 100%, right? Damage, and Kennedy, so Kennedy gave 100%, 50%. So and let's give it, uh, so let's give it an example here. So let's say character, um, let's just say character 1. And lastly, we do have character 1 on deal level 10. We'll see 800 potency. Turn and deal physical and character 2 deal about 400 potency. And character addition, 3 deal about 600 potency. My gosh, doing this with a mouse is so hard. It's not even balanced. For one turn. Uh, the turns cannot be extended and um, it's not stacked. Dang, dang, dang. I've been balanced just so hard. Uh, um, I don't know, my is that good? Ultimate. And this skill will also lower the shield points even when not striking uh, weak points. Um, obviously, the potency raise of all allies was added um, as an exclusive buff for Canary's ultimate. I think pencil yeah. is better for this uh, case. Hope everyone enjoys. Um, Which is notoriously the worst banner I ever. Yeah. And yes. So for uh, Solon, right? Um, definitely, definitely. Some if he doubled this one here, the total for Solon would be sixteen. Yeah, it's much uh, easier with really pencil, is, I think. Like, so sixteen hundred, four hundred, and six hundred. So what total down here? Um, the total potency for your entire team will be about two thousand and six hundred. And let's say Canada does the same, right? So this is so, total on 100 percent. So 100 percent. Uh, will be arriving this Wednesday. And Kennedy won 50 percent. Split over three character until April 17th. Oh wait. Uh, Canary will be featured in two Sacred Blaze Guidelines, and yes, she is a Sacred Blaze traveler. Nothing changed. Okay. Um. So, um, be the step so up Kennedy Blaze does the same, guidance, right? But so this is 1,200. Step one of the step up. Uh, of this step is 200. Up um, so it's 600. And step two of the step up will be 200. And this is 900. And step five will guarantee a five star sacred blaze. So even then, uh, um, so 1200, 600, 900, right? 2700. Canary. In addition, there will also be the sacred blaze guidance. So what I'm trying to uh, show is that um, sometimes, like, even though Kennedy buffed three characters, right? So, like, I'm taking what, like, it should be 150%. It's much more potency than 100%, right? Due to the varying potency difference on the character team, uh, your character, the total potency might be um, spread out a bit, so it's not the same. So... To, uh, I guess the conclusion I'm trying to say is uh, three for Canary's sacred the higher, the best potency on your team is, the so, worse Kennedy is. So let's say your, return, your character can uh, deal like a thousand potency and you still want boost that. Debut. That value know, of 100% um, is pretty much can be equal to Kennedy 150%, even if he's only boosting um, one person compared to Kennedy boosting three person. Hopefully I show that correctly. And I just need everyone on the left. Um, so, I need Leon. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm missing Leon too. Um, but I do really like TT and Odette and Xenia, so I'm very happy I have them. I also have Liana too, um, who I, hmm. I do also really like Liana's uh, three. It's the same problem when I went Terminus, right? Because most of the time when I try to use Terminus, oh, it's, um, um, 
It's mostly okay. with two characters because Terminal's the it's one that's ulting and one of the characters breaking true, true. and he's only affecting two. But with kind of the hit, you can do a uh, two in one, the breaking and the boost and the buffing at the same time. So yeah, I guess you I'm, can I'm like very, increase like, the damage a bit compared to using Terminal's ult. Looking forward to the return of the Sacred Blaze guidance. Don't forget that someone give damage guy out and Kennedy doesn't. Yeah. Sweet. Um. So in addition. Um, they're also Can Kennedy be better uh, to avoid hitting damage character? Kennedy is not a DPS, so she has she doesn't have like nice potency and her attack stats isn't that high. Let's talk a little bit more in detail about that. Of course. So to celebrate the debut of Canary to Octopath COTC, we're excited to announce that all players will be able to receive two login bonus rewards on March 27th. You'll be able to obtain a Sacred Blaze signet that can be exchanged for Canary's exclusive accessory, the beautiful thief's quotes. And additionally, all players will be given 100 rubies. Now, the Beautiful Thieves Quotes accessory will raise Canary's speed by 15% with Thieves Evasion. Limit from support skills and equipment effects is 30%. And the accessory will also increase Canary's max SP by 40. So yeah, we hope that you guys look forward to claiming these rewards on the 27th, because I know I am. Yeah. Um, and you'll be able to receive Canary's exclusive accessory through exchange. Um, it's only one turn. Yeah, it's only one turn. It's like so on. But it's only the last two turns. The last thing two turns, it will be too strong. Um, that you can use it to exchange uh, for exclusive accessory. And then, yes, all players will be able to receive 100 free rubies. The debut mm -hmm. for your birthday. <laughs> In addition, though, um, there's also something to uh, celebrate the debut of Canary. Indeed. And I can hand it over to Lamiko again to talk about that. Of course. So to also celebrate the debut of Canary, there will also be four new limited time sales packs made available from March 27th until April 17th. This will see the return of discounted ruby packs. As usual, these will be the same price point as previously featured discounted ruby packs. Uh, Sacred discounted ruby set A will feature 100 paid rubies and will have a purchase limit of one. Uh, Sacred Discounted Ruby Set B will feature 200 paid rubies and will also have a purchase limit of one. Sacred Discounted Ruby Set C will feature 300 paid rubies with a purchase limit of one. And in addition, there will be a Sacred Limit Break Pack. This will include 300 paid rubies, 100 Canary Guide Stones, and 100 Wisdom, or Wisdom Orbs Bronze. And there will be a purchase limit of five with this specific pack. So we hope that you guys are looking forward to these four new sales packs arriving on this Wednesday. Yeah. And as a reminder, all four of these packs will be available until April 17th. Pack. Yep. But yeah, um, as mentioned, uh, these discounted ruby sets uh, will, uh, will be the same price point as the previous uh, featured discounted Wait, ruby isn't that the same price uh, as a normal pack? That. Um, but yeah, it's always nice to receive those discounted rubies. Um, and I'm very much looking forward to picking those up myself. It's mm -hmm. 550, it's like, that's, that's yeah, the so same that's price as just buying the rubies normally with no discount. But there's also some other things that will be arriving uh, this week with the 2.9 update. Um, and so we're excited to announce that Elite Training 4-3 will also be arriving this Wednesday. Oh, that flower. I hate that flower. Hate that flower. Challenge and fight this time against the reigning Flesh Eden plant. Once again, you can take on the fight to earn more Elite tokens and a new accessory. Um, we won't be showing this fight specifically off, but I will, I will show off the enemy um, with the dead build. And I can also show off the accessory. Uh, they do the enemy for float, right? I hate the enemy for float three so much. A very challenging fight. Like, maybe because it's the, the fact that um, it's AOE. Yeah, you, you can only use single target AOE it stuff. Is, Random target doesn't, very, doesn't work there. Um, challenging fight, but very. And also, very like a bunch fight. of different status so effects, they just inflict on you. Elite training floor three. Yeah, I. I'll be honest. I personally haven't done two yet. I have completed one, um, but I haven't been brave enough to to, to do elite training two yet. I'm usually pretty good in in, in doing tower based content, but um, elite training definitely have to be like mentally prepared. But yes, I hope everyone is looking forward uh, to elite training that will be arriving uh, this week, and then uh, we hope that everyone looks forward to taking on the spirits info with the least amount of times possible. Um, <laughs> I'd be very interested to see what the average. That is just um, just time for until RNG stress, unfortunately. In addition, um, along with Italy training floor three, this one's there. Five hundred two. There will also be just the seat story. Some new adversaries will be added to the adversary log. Um, on the twenty seventh, you'll be able to take on Sonia, uh, Commander Titos, Titos the Thunderblade, uh, Delbachio, 
aid vanguard and the divine beast uh, lycon in the adversary log um, i hope everyone is ready to take on the accolade of power and more here and additionally there will be arcana stones for sonia commander Ty uh, Tytos, and del Bacchio, uh added to the game um, we're also excited to announce uh, that with the 2.9 update on the 27th uh, ex Hanit will be added to chance encounters i have like four veteran sacred seals and i have like 30 traveler sacred seals and i'm excited to use them this week in the hopes to maybe get ex on it with your luck i believe you'll do it <laughs> yeah um but yeah i'm looking forward to it but yeah hope everyone looks forward to that content that's also arriving on the 27th um, and so we're going to detail some special tasks and login bonuses, and then we'll review everything that's coming out with the 2.9 update, which once again, uh, as a reminder, will be arriving this Wednesday on the 27th. But I will hand it over to Limiko to go a little bit more in detail about that. I thought she thought it was in general. So a new it? set of limited time special tasks will yet, be available from March 27th, this Wednesday, until April 17th. Completing Chapter 3 of Master of Wealth, Power, or Fame, players can Also, it's kind of weird, though, because um, in Japanese, Complete right, the look Wealth on... Because the name for... The, 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 the katakana for the name for the wealth line reason in JP, it was saying, like, you, you got on. It's like that, like, if it was, like, look on or something. But it seems like in English, it was, like, like on instead. Additionally, there will be a new... There will be new login bonuses delivered from March 27th until April 2nd. In addition to the Sacred Blaze Signet, New Unit always have a gap between the feature banner and joining the opponent. Cool. Players mm. will be able to receive 50 Canary Guidestones, 15 Affinity Ember Fruits Small, 6 Experience Ember Fruits Medium, and more. As for the 2.9.0 update that is arriving on March 27th, this will be everything arriving after maintenance. So there is the Ember Flame Story Part 2, Sacred Blaze Guidance, Canary coming as a new traveler. Elite Training Floor 3, four new Keepers, new Adversaries, new Arcana Stones, new Traveler Story, Canary, new Chance Encounter Edition, which is EX Hanit, Sacred Blaze Special Ruby Packs, limited time, and last but not least, the 2.9.0 Limited Time Login Bonuses and Special Tasks. So yeah, we hope that you guys are looking forward to everything the 2.9.0 update has to offer. It's quite a bit, let yeah. me tell you. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm looking forward to Ember Flame Story Part 2, uh, along with the Sacred Blaze Guidance return in. And as mentioned, we do have Elite Train in Floor 3, new Dog Keepers, new Adversaries, new Arcana, Stain, Ar Ar Arcana Stones, um, and we also have EX Han that joined Chance Encounters, along with those sac uh, Sacred Blaze Special Ruby. There's kind of little extra up front. Mm -hmm. But I believe that is, and we have for the week of the 27th, I don't, but we do I don't. have a few... I do not think so because Cyrus has a very special hairstyle to him. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, we can let you know. It's different from Kennedy. April third, um, and I will hand it over to Lemiko again to go a little bit more in detail about that. Of course. So we're excited to announce that there will be a new guiding light featuring Ophelia and Zanta that will be available from April third until April twenty fourth. Step up, Union of Chosen, Ophelia, Zanta will be a free ruby guiding light featuring Ophelia and Zanta. Steps 1 and Steps 2 will be discounted to 100 free rubies and 200 rubies, respect, or yeah, respectfully. Step 5 will see a guaranteed Ophelia or Zanta in slot 10. Players can mm. trade 200 Ophelia Zanta These fragments for Ophelia's These two characters were or good, but they're now completely power creep. In addition, At least, I think Zanta is still who has some use, I guess, but... Zanta from April 3rd ah. until April 9th. So we hope you guys are looking forward to this free Ruby Step Up featuring two beloved travelers from the original Octopath Traveler. Yes. Um, I still use Zanta. Zanta is still sporty, yes. Yeah, Zanta is still, still, still strong. I think, um, I think Zanta so stay as a strong unit uh, until uh, Sutter and Oshad arrive. Um, also, I'm going to show it off in the dead build. But for Not so with the aware, huge um, arrival in JP. Like, Santa guidances, kind of doesn't see play um, anymore. You can actually get a decent amount of wisdom orbs. Got affiliate to um, A4 level 10, Santa, skip. Um, it's kind of nice. Um, but you can get, um, I think you can get up to, like, 50 bronze um, wisdom orbs if you do uh, just even just that first one step um, 100 ruby guide. Uh, which is kind of nice. Um, but I'll show it off in exchange, but 
Um, I've been taking advantage of that because I like to do the fifty bronze with them all isn't worth that my, much, uh, though. <laughs> like it was gold, like it was golden with them all. It might be worth it to do one or two steps, but your ultimates. bronze, mm -hmm. bronze off doesn't really so worth it that much, that, though. Um, we are also happy to share that it's been a minute since uh, we've had this, but the it's been a minute. punish the crafty Kate hunts will be returning on April uh, April third. And we run in until I don't have Santa so or Hagen. Also, it's like, what's funny? Like, during the challenge, I get Hagen. Ah, no. Extra XP for your party. So, as usual, um, if you want to take advantage of that extra XP, um, beginning Thursday, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Be, be, beginning Thursday would be a good time to start saving your tickets. Um, if you do want that extra XP. It's so kind of funny about right. Ophelia, okay? Because like, um, what makes yeah. her so strong um, in the release was the, before, was the um, healing really with the defense bar, with the extendable um, defense bar, right? But later on, on when Signa get released, right? And Signa is not even focused as a healer. Um, Signa is a debuffer, right? Um, do but she do have this. one skill, one healing skill, and that's a region that also attached um, a defense yeah. bar with it. So. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to it again. Um, ah. yeah, the the Kate. Kate but then, besides Signa, we need also exist, so... Looking forward to the Crafty Kate hunts to return next week. Do you pet get 10 for doing manual hunt, or can you do auto hunt and get the 10? You can do auto hunt and get the 10 of 10 for the pet. So, that covers everything for the week of April. She has the emergency button with Baba Dave, and that would be powerful. Yeah. To talk about. So we're gonna go a bit more I know one of the character. I, I don't know which cleric exactly. Show but uh, one of them has like infinite revive, but like has a has a so drawback to it. That trailer, and then once again we'll let everyone know everything yeah. else that's arriving on April tenth. Not me. I think it's more like audio essay thing. <laughs> oh, the man. Okay, I think it's not a character. We're not behind anymore. At least it really saw the character though. But you know what this also made me realize? Is that I think they just like with the fact that all these characters just released now, right? I think they just abandoned the prom share idea thing. For some reason, I, I can't tell exactly why, but prom is forever alone. Maybe not alone. He is staying with the other eight traveler though. But for him to be the only one exclusively behind Pedro, it's kind of feeling weird though. That's made me feel lonely, right? It made me feel bad for <laughs> uh. She used to say it's this character's access element. Yep. But she sucks. Like, really sucks. Honestly, buff her, she really sucks. Is that, there is that the same thing that yes, Nyla does see, again? What was it again? Another traveler, you can... Um, that will be she can do everything, but she sucks at everything. Be like, it's better if you take out one thing than do everything. It's like that one... It's like that one quote. It's like something like, I'm not afraid of the person that practice yeah, a move. You know, I'm not afraid of the person that know yes. 1,000 move. I'm afraid of the person that practice one move 1,000 times. It's, it's like that. You're about to find out. But yes, uh, a little spoiler alert right there. Um, Lamera can hit um, every elemental point um, across her skills. Um, and so she does have skills dedicated to each elemental. Um, I could all try myself, there, man. Really yeah, nice. that's so accurate, Lamera, too. The colorful, the colorful dancer. dancer um, who turns she can do like healing buff and deep buff and, and like has six elements. <laughs> element. <laughs> but she doesn't um, excel in any of that, so kind of sad. Kind of sad. Uh, Lemire can strike all elemental weaknesses across all her skills. Um, yeah, should we take a look at her skills? Of course. So, Lemire doesn't get buff. I see. Dancer who is able to cast magic of every elemental type across her battle skills while also buffing her allies. And dealing more damage when striking weak point. Striking weak point. Huh? Lemare support skill, where her three will raise damage of pair ally by 20% when exploiting enemy weaknesses. Her support skill, extended augment, extends duration of augmenting skills granted by self by one turn and does not stack. Going on to Lemare's battle skills, just to note, the potency and turn count listed for her skills are what they will be when Lemare is fully brought to level 100. Many of her battle skills can be enhanced within the skill board at a certain threshold. 
Moving on to her other skills, Tranquil Blue will deal elemental ice damage to a single foe. Oh, three times actually, there's one thing I forgot. Um, it will also so maybe I actually went back to see a little bit of use, okay? Due to um, Oswald. Oswald in JPS is the follow skill, Ashen right? Red and um, the man along with Cyrus can hit all three, three elements in one. So Cyrus, you play again because of Oswald. You use Oswald on the same team. And the man does that too because she benefited from Oswald attack three times. Rainbow Follow Barrage attack three times. will deal elements of fire, ice, lightning, wind, light, and dark damage one time each to a single foe with a potency of 50. And Noble Purple will deal elemental dark but damage. But we're buying in some other unit to see plays and really that good though. And it will lower the physical attack and elemental attack by 15% for three turns. Enlivening, yo Enlivening Yellow will deal elemental lightning damage to a single foe three times with a potency of 65. It will raise the speed and the crit chance of entire front row by 15% for two turns. Then there is pure white, which will deal elemental this light damage to a single This is saving for the sister, the lords of dark, and Cezanthos. Yeah. And restore HP but now let me check the, the unit release. Um, the potency of 150. And at Lemire, so who is then behind? Is who is green, missing? Which will deal elemental wind damage to a single foe three times with a potency of 65. And it will show one weak so point. So with release, enemy. we are now then, last but not least, missing an order until Celestia. Um, Erika, Adani, EX. Elemental fire. Ice, lightning, um, wind, light, the life of light collab, which is Ostad, Shrebo, Odeo, and Odeo. Design those in Sigma, Ogen, uh, Ditorena, and Sutton. So only those units that we post this year release. But this way we are going, I won't be surprised we won't get some of those units until Solistia is out. But hopefully we get all of them before Solistia is out. Until May 1st. And there's quite a lot to go over there. <laughs> yeah. she has when Erica will be released on Global, I do not know. Kennedy, they released Kennedy and Le Mans, so we now yeah, catch up now. So Erica is now the latest uh, one to be released. It's not like, such as she has there, next in the really JP release order, it will be her and, and Adani. But my guess uh, is um, Bestow of All 8. It has to be Bestow of All 8. Like, if it was Bestow of All right for some reason, right? If they don't release Erica, then it will be, then she will be late. She will be featured. A fortune step up chosen traveler guiding light and chosen traveler guiding light. Free uh, chosen. <laughs> I can't even speak today. Free chosen I'm traveler guiding coming, light. Though. Fortune step chosen. Hold on, good will be like, a paid ruby guiding this is, light. I think like this is painful for step you guys because like for the next few months, right? All the units are good units. <laughs> all of them, like even Sutton is strong to the extent, but all of them, even Ogan is a uh, good. Like only maybe Austin and Shrebo are not good, but the rest is good. Then there is chosen traveler, which will be a free ruby guiding light. You can trade okay, up fifty yeah. Lemaire fragments for a Lemaire sacred seal as well. So we hope you guys are looking forward. So to basically, Lemire's whatever comes after the man is gonna be um, it's gonna be very good. Who can strike Unless they always have a lot collapsed, and Austin and Shrebo would not be good. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm also looking forward to Lemire's debut on the 10th. But as mentioned, uh, she will be available into until May 1st. Yes, uh, she will be arriving on April 10th. So in addition, uh, Lemire is not the only thing that will be arriving on um, the week. During the week of April 10th, um, mm. we do also have some other things to detail. Um, so I will hand it over to Limit again to go a bit more in detail about that. So, in addition to Lemaire, new adversaries oh. will oh, be added on April 10th. Uh, once available, you'll be able to take on yep, August, the the orange cat. August, the Prince of Thieves, the Brigand Leader, and Judah the Believer in the adversary log. We hope that you guys have a marvelous time taking on these adversaries. And additionally, Arcana Stones for Augusta Playwright, Gamel the Brigand Leader, and Judah the Believer will be available. On April 10th, <clears throat> there will be also two Cat Keepers yeah, that will guess. be available to obtain. By, by progressing through the Ember Flame story and quests, you can get the White and Gray Cat Spirit Ember and Tawny Cat's Spirit Ember as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone's looking forward to some more. What I do, Yaga is doing Yaga stuff. Yes, I already explained many times. As for the cats, orange cat, I know he has a strong effect, but his cooldown is very, very yeah. long. I think it was like <laughs> thirteen turns of cooldown, um, so it's not really worth it. Use the orange cat. Make them choose, but if if people had a choice between white and gray cat and tawny cat, Yagas. Um, sound off in chat. Let us know. Yagas, it's not it's not even close. It's Yagas. Which one would you get first? Let's put it that way. You can get both, but which one did you get first? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I've seen a bit more for, for Tawny Cat, um, but I, I am seeing quite a bit of white and gray too. Mm hmm. But yeah, um, after April 10th, we will have um, Herminia, Titos, and the Gust um, in the, the um, adversary log to fight. Um, and you'll mm -hmm. be able to get Arcana Stones for them too. Because we have Titos arriving on the, uh, this week, and Herminia is already available, and then we have a Gust arriving on the 10th. So we have all our three Tyrants in the adversary log. The reason for still ever go all in for In addition, um, there also will be a special set of new special tasks that will be available this week, beginning this week. Um, and there is some definitely some very nice rewards. So let's go a bit more in detail about that. Yes, on April 10th, there will be addition of new limited time special tasks that will be available until the 24th. By completing the main story final chapter, the, sing, uh, the rings sealed away. Second thought message training. Also, by like a free five star is always nice. All chapter one, you'll be able to receive twenty boost berries level one, and by completing the twentieth floor of ultimate training, you'll be able to receive fifty thousand wisdom fragments, which are great, obviously, to be able to receive uh, wisdom orbs in exchange. Like what I you missed nothing. But, as probably some people have already noted, perhaps the most exciting thing is by completing the second floor of master training, you'll be able to receive one veteran sacred seal. In addition. Um, there will be a set of tasks revolving in the realm of Elite Training. So this will obviously be after um, floor, uh, floor 3 of Elite Training has been released on the 27th. But by completing the first floor, um, you'll be able to receive 50 rubies. By having the second floor completed, you'll be able to receive 50 rubies. And by having the third floor completed, you can receive 100 rubies. So I hope everyone looks forward to those rubies that come along with uh, completing the Elite Training floors. And in addition, there will also be a new special task. Uh, by winning one elite enemy battle daily, you'll be able to receive 20 supreme experience nuts. Small. But yeah, uh, no better time to, to test out elite <laughs> trainings, uh, second floor and uh, third floor for those additional rubies. But yeah, um, second floor of master training is not uh, too difficult at all. Um, and uh, I am very much looking forward to veteran sacred seal. Yeah, some nice uh, special tasks that'll be available. You know, I was thinking, time. right? Like, if they want to make it really, um, like, really motivating, you should probably put the sacred seal, the veteran one, behind the third floor, so, which which will motivate to people to do the third floor more than uh, the than just a hundred rubies. I think. Unveil the next three weeks of content that will be arriving to Octopath C O T C, um, but we're excited to announce the next date of our tavern talk after this one, obviously. Uh, you'll be able to catch us on April 22nd at 2 p.m. PM, Time to fill out what? 11 p.m. Um, sorry, not 11 p.m. 9 p.m. UTC. Um, so you'll be able to tune in to learn all about what awaits us for the 2.10 update. Um, we also look forward to seeing you all then. Uh, as for other updates until then, you'll just have to keep an eye out on socials and in-game notices for announcements. But yes, uh, we'll be able to see everyone again on April 22nd. Just to put it out there, we, we still have a giveaway to do, we still have gameplay to do, we're not going anywhere yet. Um, but, that, that, but that is it for our slides. For this today. the 22nd, let me check the world map. That is a chapter 8. Like, that is... the guide zone, um, Yeah, that is update, chapter 8. Uh, it has to be. It has to be the sister. Um, I will confirm that the devs because are still Because besides the sister, no one else and, is fitting um, the high uh, bestow of all 8 as... Uh, when it has been it's either them or Cezantos. Um, notice put out in-game in regards to when it has been properly fixed. So you'll just have to keep your eyes out for an in-game notice, notice about it. But yes, once it has been fixed, you'll be able to reclaim um, all those guide zones that um, are available in the ban log. Um, you'll be able to reclaim them. Even if you already have claimed them, you'll be able to claim them again. Um, and I myself do have quite a few characters at level 99 right now. Um, and I'm waiting until that uh, bug is fixed so I can be able to run them until level 100. I know many other people are in that spot right there. Um, but yes, the dev team is working on it. Um, and it should be fixed in a update soon. But yeah, when it has been fixed, there will be a in-game notice and everything detailing uh, that has been fixed. So you'll be able to uh, be notified when it has been fixed.
No worries. So, let us go back to our lovely taco selves. For those who came in this room uh, later um, <laughs> and did not see this earlier, you might have missed the fact that um, we may not be human. At least as I uh, as a five star. They can't, they can't release on that. Because here's the thing, okay? Ada is first um, release at six stars. Uh, you'll be, so if they release Ada as five star, there will be outrage. Um, and not to mention, the people will complain like too yeah. soon and stuff. So there will be a lot of problem with doing like, like Ada early. Erica Santos. Yes. Uh, it has to be Erica. Like if they release Santos, right? Anyway, then I feel bad for the Erica one too. But yes. We are going to be doing because giveaway. Erica value will go down if, um, a bit if Zandos get released first. To be able to show this off. Um, but what we're going to be giving away today is we're going to be giving away 10 COTC dice bags. Um, and so <laughs> just to show, um, they do come with three dice. Um, but we only do two. When we do the roll. They do come with three dice. So if you are so one of our much. winners, you'll be able to receive a dice bag. Nah, today. it's fine. Um, it's to totally to fine. Nice I think. Bag. And it is like nice and golden here too. Um, that can hold your dice. It's not that late because sure Erica was released between chapter 7 and chapter 8 in JP. So releasing um, so on chapter 8 chat, isn't that late either. So don't worry. Um, use them for D&D. &D. <laughs> Why did I hold up my dice back to the camera <laughs> as if they could see it? Oh, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> um, max, boost and max, max boost and that dice bake would be nice though. I thought it was just an option. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, feel free to check the rules right there. Um, I will open up the giveaway in just a second, um, and I will go a little bit and spiel in details specifically about everything we do want to let everyone know before we do go into the giveaway. But yes, as noted, we're going to be giving away 10 Octopaths UTC dice bags today on stream. Um, we're glad to be able to share the opportunity to be able to give away more of these today. Um, we do want to note this time, as you might have already seen the key rules, our algebra regions will be only Wait, that is a dice the United States of America. Um, the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico, uh, Canada, excluding Quebec, and the United Kingdom, excluding the British uh, overseas territories. I don't. We do apologize I, to our wait, German is that like the final today. dice? Um, well, however, we should we have Germany and France included as an eligible region in future giveaways. Huh. Um, so please do make sure that you are. Usually, I've region seen stuff in the 50 or 60, or they um, reroll it so much that I, I kind of got um, spoiled by the rerolling. Every time I seen the like the dice thing, and I was yeah, like expecting it's like sixty something or fifty something, um, but and also please do make sure something is quite low compared your, to what we have like uh, your, your Twitch, Twitch like previously open. a lot. Um, if you're a college <sighs> winner and we are not able to reach out to you, to you, your whispers being blocked from strangers, or do not whisper us after being called as a winner, um, we will not be able to proceed because we have no way of reaching out to you if you don't have your whispers open. Um, so feel free to whisper us if you are called out as a winner today. Your name, your Twitch username will also appear in chat. Uh, as confirmation. So let me open that giveaway for everyone. And yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry we were not able to include Germany and France this time, but we should be able to include it next time for a future giveaway. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to open the giveaway in a second and I will let everyone know what the command is too. Um, even though the command is in um, rules, I will let everyone know. Um, but here, let me show everyone. So, I'm going to go back here. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm just showing everyone this is the command that you will be entering. And I will open it in just a second. I'm going to open it and announce it here in chat. And now it should be open. Go, go, go. So, yeah, if you command Octoprize, you'll be able to enter. But once again, please do make sure that you are in the eligible region. Um, if we do reach out to you and we learn that you're not eligible region, we will have to redraw a winner. Same if we're unable to contact you. We do wait about mm -hmm. a week or so until um, we redraw a winner in that case. But if we're unable to reach out I'm to so you, I'm so happy that I'm here. Is there us, anyone notice um, this game is super similar to another? In your case too. Yeah, it's, um, a lot of people point that out. Yes, we even got a collab with Octopath. Yeah, those, well, another Eden, another yeah, Eden uh, also got like an Octopath. Four minutes. A collab um, with Octopath, and we're though, all yes. 10 winners at once uh, this time. Um, so we'll make sure that everyone is able to enter before we do close. Um, so if you go to settings, um, you'll be able to fix the uh, whispers. But if you can whisper, so finally, um, speaking of collab, right? Square Enix doesn't um, do any like collab also, with anything different sure so far. Phone, um, like Square even with the another Eden collab, right? That's, that's only on phone the phone another Eden. So we only got like a um, lot of cat for our game. Entire unit, right? So far, our unit is only for Square Enix only. 
And they even like go back and try to like go back, like revisit the old collab again twice. So if anything, if I guess in the next collab we would get is probably um I always do triangle think strategy too. So we might get a triangle strategy too, I think. <laughs> like there's a high chance we might get the triangle strategy too. <laughs> Because, like, seeing how they already re revisit Bravely Default and Nia, and now with new this Replicant. This is when anyone so, says anything bad about Colony. The best I wouldn't be surprised if we get, like, triangle, like... Uh, triangle Collab, too. My default is like, usually with, me. Maybe this time when, like, <laughs> um, when Benedict and that Anna. And then, I guess the third one could also be not yet. the second one, to be honest. Not this time. Um, we only do have three. Um, it would be fun if we did have some other ones. Um, I really wish to collab mm, with Final Fantasy though. Normal, it's like we have angry, and then we. I'm surprised I haven't done that I yet. I like to call it sad slash scared because I think it can. How come it left all over? Pull out Flo and Maxwell, yeah. a Chrono Trigger. I told you about Connie. Um, as usual though, too, uh, please do make sure that you are also... Yeah, I think about it. Both Triangle Strategy and Live Life still has a lot of character like, left over. Um, so they can revisit... Uh, they, they can revisit... Uh, 18 years or older. Wait, no, Triangle um, has too much character. I think like, they can re revisit it like three or four times at least. And Live Life has like eight characters, so they can revisit that like three times at least, I think. Excluding the British if there was a Final Fantasy call, that which one you, you would choose? I personally, I really want a Final Fantasy Fantasy fourteen collab, but I think the chance of getting a fourteen collab is very low, considering that um in World Division, right? They don't even have that many fourteen yeah, character. Well, so I don't so really have any strong feeling on any Final Fantasy character. Like I know about um, seven. I'm just not a big fan of seven. That's fourteen is. Sure that you enter that yeah, I guess I do Noctis, but I don't think I don't think Noctis. Is, like, I think so I just want to set up with seven. They're gonna do a Final yeah, Fantasy collab. Yeah, we'll keep it open for like two. Minutes, she has more than forty characters. I want to go ahead. Yeah, but at some point you have to be careful, right? Because there's some character that they, they want to be all known. So you just can't like pick, just, you just can't like, you just can't pick all of them eventually. You just have to pick the one that's like the most famous. The most well known. Yeah, um, we we're very happy that we we're able to give away some more of these ice bags because they're really nice. Um, and it's really fun to be able to give away some to some of our viewers. Mm-hmm. I love my dice bag. I only <laughs> wish I could show it, but alas. And what a, what what better holiday is there to celebrate um, than April Fools? But then now I think oh, about, I think we're done with Nia because I don't think we can revisit. Nice. Yeah, I can hear the dice on. Uh, yeah, Bradley, like you no, Bradley dice. still has um, two characters. Like that's set. No, uh, Lacey, set would you, would you and I know like this one with character who hasn't uh, like now. Is that the only one? one? Wait, is that the only um, one missing? Left? I'm pretty sure there's like one more character sent sent into his for Bradley default. Not sure that's enough for a banner though, but I fear if I roll them, it'll be so I'll have And for I think new is done, right? I think that's all the famous new character. They don't they can't release any more new characters because all the main well known one they already they already released them. Automata um, and Replicant, so I think Nia is the one to call that. Um, streams. Um, so there might be a more regular frequency of the giveaways. I can't promise anything, but we are trying to see that we can do that for everyone. All right, I'm going to give everyone like 30 more seconds. If you have not entered, you. Up, Feel free to enter. Also, just clarify it's if you enter, you've entered and once. You. And you yeah, I think that's once, enough because um, on a second round, Bravely, uh, we got just um, Gloria, uh, Ring of Bell, and uh, Magnolia. There, so You're good. You don't need to enter it again. I kind of want like a uh, Bravely Default 3 in the future, so we can, compl we yeah, can complete the like Bravely character collection. So. And then we'll close the giveaway and we'll announce our 10 winners for today. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I think we won Automata and Global. Five, Not yet. Four, I don't think so. 3, 2, 1, I'm done. Entries are now closed. Alrighty. So if you are entering and you did not get in, I'm sorry, but entries are closed. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we do have quite a few uh, people to select from. So we're going to draw 10 winners now. And we're going to announce them in chat, but so fingers crossed for everyone um, and congratulations in advance to all of our 10 winners. So our very first winner is Lad. 
underscore D. And I'm also going to announce that in chat. Congrats. Congratulations. So for instance, if you are a winner today, uh, feel free to whisper us um, in advance. Otherwise, we will whisper you. But please do make sure um, at the at the very least today, if you did not whisper us, that your whispers are open. Um, yes. So we can we can reach out to you. Regardless, we just want to be able to reach out to you. But congratulations, uh, lad. Fallen lad, our next winner is going to be uh, Joyless uh, Ly. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, yes, we can have a new story. I think for JP, we still have all. Now we still have all. Um, <laughs> Alistia. Oh. Oh, it's in a few days. Yeah, congratulations, Joyce. Wait, is, wait, is this... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I should that name. No, it's this week. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Wait, so Sai Celestia Chapter 5 is this week. Joyless I'm probably going to stream that, That I makes think. sense. Thank you for correcting. Yes, congratulations, Joylessly. So the Soy Celestia Joy has been on a slower pace be. compared to, um, compared to the start of our story. The chat that we get is more space out, because last time chapter 4 was all the way back in January, and now... And now, um, chapter 5 is in March. End of March, so it's might as well be April. Mega, our next winner is gonna be, um, Awesome Red Flare. When would that be? The Celestia chapter? Awesome chapter Flare? 5? It will be this week, I think. On the roadmap. It's, it's, it's say at the end of April March on the roadmap, so it's this week. It has to be this week. More like a... A3. Maybe um, we're getting a new character this week too. I wonder who is it. Because we already exhaust all we already <laughs> exhaust the all the, um, the Octopi 2 characters, remember. so. Mm -hmm. mm. Congratulations. Maybe one of the original um, character from Octopi 2 will show up. Nix. From the Celestia chapter will uh, show up. Petri maybe. Chor? I do apologize for probably butchering that name. But congratulations. congratulations. All right, so that is five of our winners. So we're going to draw five more winners. I thought it also is that action time. I think that usually is. Congratulations, mm. uh, Blig X. Thinking. It's, it's usually announced update. It's, congratulations. It's, our next winner after that. It's announced update Tuesday and updates Shira. usually go live on Wednesday. That sounds like I think you add like Craig. Craig. The next place called the, is Kudo. The next place we visit in uh, Celestia and is Kudo. So is we are seeing Hikari, Zelda but we already have Hikari. So, um, oh, Raime? Maybe Raime. We, we might see Raime, I think. Like, there's a chance we're going to see Raime this week. Congrats. Feels like a high school graduation. Congratulations. You've graduated. <laughs> you've graduated from the Champions of the Continent Institution. All right, we got two more winners. <laughs> uh, congratulations, Irish Luck, uh, J Deskew. It's in the name. I definitely do recognize some of our winners today. Yeah, definitely. And then this is our last winner for today, um, but we, we we do plan to do more giveaways in the future. Um, so do you know there's there will be um, similar chances possibly to win in the future giveaway. Um, but our last winner for today is gonna be. What did the winner get? I think they get the uh, dice. Doctor Philly Joel. Doctor Philly Joel. Wait, yes. wait a minute. Wait a minute. I I, I recognize that name. <laughs> This is a reminder, um, we do have that Lad name, D, that's, uh, the, that person Nick was, Turd, yeah, awesome yeah, that's player, you. Uh, Nyx, uh, Petricor, uh, Blig X, Deadmaster Shiro, uh, Zelvin Koisitas, um, Irish, uh, Luck, J Deskew, and Dr. Philly Joel is our 10 winners today. Kind of is second place, right? Uh, why is it getting released with Standard Banner? Congrats, congrats. Um, the next so yeah, week um, at the Kennedy, so it's so, so sure separate. Whispers are open. Uh, feel free to uh, whisper us too in advance if you'd like to. 
um, it does look like we did receive. Um, a I was thinking, like, I think so Midia, Midia um, from so the story might be a character too for this week. Uh, uh, I have no idea who's arriving uh, this week. Ah, uh, well, maybe they might at least one of the side character we, we've seen, but like we've seen the side quest, yes, but it's not character yet. Um, and very glad we were able to give away I think we're still missing Alicia, Alicia, and so on. Moving on, um, we do have some gameplay. We're just gonna do some light gameplay today. Um, but we are going to show off um, Canary and uh, La Mer in gameplay. And we're going to show off those new keepers. We can show off the dogs. We have the dogs, uh, which I know some people <laughs> some people might be excited about. So we'll be able to show that off for you guys. So I'm just going to get that ready um, and we can proceed. As a reminder, what I'm showing off is a dev build. Um, and we actually are kind of time jumped a little bit. Uh, so do you know, like a lot of the things that we were going to be showing off is future content. So it's not going to be available per se, maybe right now. Um, but it will be available um, in the coming weeks. Unfortunately, because um, we are only just uh, featuring the Ember Flame story, um, we're really not spoiling anything story related um, outside of what has already been released in the story. Um, and we're just going to be showing off um, our travelers here and some keepers. Nah, nah. Actually, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Do that combo right there. But yeah, as you guys can see right here, um, we do have Canary on our team and we do have Lemare. Um, as we know, that, um, earlier in stream with our slides, Canary has received many <laughs> uh, buffs with her skills, uh, many mm -hmm. worthwhile uh, buffs right there. So I, I will just uh, very briefly go through her skills right here. Um, and then also, I know some 900 A4 isn't that high, right? Um, her A4 accessory is uh, 900 attack, is, it's not that high um, at all. Raise digger damage de uh, dealt by but and that's what a pet equip from support skills and equipment effects by 30%. Uh, <laughs> I mean lower. Um, I know something I mean, funny. I'm broke. their physical mm. defense by 15% for three turns, and digger resistance by 15% uh, by 15% for three turns too, which is really nice if you want to do some extra damage. Honestly, that's a very strong accessory for yeah, Dagger Team. Then, we did go through all of her um, skills in detail. Here's her ultimate right here, which, as mentioned, as mentioned, will also raise the potency of all allies by 50% for one turn, which was added to her ultimate. And as you can see here, as we know, the Ruby Burst now has these multiple effects when you do uh, increase the uh, BP consumption, which is really nice. Yeah, I'll just scroll through these. Oh. Right oh, I just realized something. Now that Kennedy started battle with nine, with four yeah. clone ready, so she can do a nine hit right away. Of skills. Oh, um, Kennedy is going to be scary and speak clear. I just realized. So, just show that off for everyone here. Because I think nine hit, nine hit, like nine um, hit shoe cool shape is still pretty good for colors, Ian. Um, which will also raise the ice, wind, and dark resistance in the entire world by fifteen percent. Yeah, Kennedy is going to see play colors, with a bit of play. Raise, uh, fire, lightning, and um, light resistance of the entire world by fifteen percent for two turns. Along with all these different uh, dedicated skills for one specific element each. And then obviously we have Rainbow Collage, which will hit basically every elemental type. One time each. Any god new character? Nope. In addition, we can show off our lovely uh, dogs that we do have. And then we also do have the two um, cat keepers that arrive in um, on the tent to be able to show off to you. So we can be able to show those off uh, for everyone here. Um, and I can show off the effects that they do have to you. We do have Barry, who I think is Finley um, assigned. This obviously we just named them Barry, but we do have them um, <laughs> assigned to Elfin, which I feel like Elfin is a good dog owner. Let's just, just put it out there. Um, he definitely is. <laughs> but as you guys can see, uh, their effect will be lower elemental defense of all enemies by five percent for one turn, and it will also show uh, weak points one by one. With good nose. Very fitting, <laughs> aptly named for a skill like that. And we do have Earl here. Um, and uh, their skill is uh, Guard Dog's Pride, which will reduce Master's damage taken by some attacks uh, once by 50%. Does not stack with the effects of the same uh, type of effects, only triggers once. Yes, the, the Doglets of the Continent. Um, first there, first there is Dog came in. Um, and then there is... Uh, Reading Gaiman, because <laughs> you know reading, reading, reading is the meta, and now there is Dog Gaiman. We're in our Dog Gaiman era. Um, as you guys can see, Snowy Heel, uh, Snowy here, 
um, has the skill Heal Work, which will cure some of Master Stay's ailments and grant immunity to some status ailments. Um, we will do some Sacred Blaze guidances. Obviously, this is a build and we already have Canary, which is for fun. Maybe like three um, Sacred Blaze guidances, just for fun. Watch him pull her again. <laughs> Watch her. Fingers crossed. Um, and then we also do have Onyx here with Courageous Howl, which will fill mm -hmm. Master's ultimate technique uh, gauge by 50%. That's actually really nice. You want that um, ultimate gauge boost. And then these are the two cats that'll be arriving on uh, April 10th. That cat better be named Yagus. That cat better be named Yagus. Raise Master's physical attack and elemental attack by 30% for one turn. Which is pretty nice. And we have Ash here. Which no, is the best Nyagus. skill name ever. <laughs> like, it's obvious in a skill um, name when we yeah. did a quest, right? Meow like, Meow you, just, you just had to. You just had to do, like. <laughs> Like in a story quest, right? Um, I think it was like I, I, I can't really understand like the story, but I think like, like the cat tried to like replicate Nagus play or something. But like you had to just name it Nagus, like just think of something that would just feel um, weird. So you can have a marvelous and Meow Meowvilus. I don't know why they make it. Should just come with yeah. They should just come with names. Meowvilus right here will raise an ally's physical attack and crit. Especially like the special pet, right? Like Linde, like Linde and Hagen. They all have name, but you can still name them something else. It's like Pokemon. It's actually just like Pokemon. You just like nickname them to something else. We like love, at least, we love the just like at least a wife with an original name, right? And then, um, and then have something else. Like, is that the nickname option? <laughs> Nyavlis. Nyavlis, yeah, they got the name yeah. right. And then, um, all the other characters. Oh, we have here, like doing Nyagus, um, Nyagus too. Um, is like Japanese. Sure this is, um, as it's just a bigger player based in Japan. Two to see another end. Game. I do not know. I don't know how to check that out there. But let me check the revenue stat. Um, also, since we do have it, I can also just show you, so this is the Divine Beast that you'll be able to obtain in Ember Flame um, Part 2. And so we have Lycheon here, um, and they will act much faster during turn and deal physical dagger damage to a random foe eight times. With opponency of 31, physical attack uh, 550, and raise damage of all allies by 10% for one turn. And obviously this will increase too if you do um, get those uh, Ember Fruits to be able to uh, provide uh, to your Divine Beast right there. But yes, uh, Lycheon will be a new Divine Beast that will be obtainable um, later this week. It seems that um, another edit is more popular. I checked the grossing spending um, so estimate lately, um, and it does. Off, and another um, edit does make more money combat, than um, um, than Octopath by a bit. Also, we do so. have um, Wudai, Lars, Zanta, Ophelia, Lavina, and Elfin on our team right here too. Um, one other thing I do want to show off, though, is if we go... Because we um, we also mentioned that Elite Training Floor 3 will be arriving this Wednesday. So I just want to briefly show <laughs> the lovely foe um, that you'll be fighting, and then also the accessory that you'll be able to obtain. Um, but yes, you'll be able to take on the Rain and Flesh Eating Plants. And then um, with the accessory here... Um, so we have Great Blossoms Crest, and with Great Blossoms Quest, Yang equipped at full HP, uh, provoke all enemies. And you also got a physical defense and elemental defense increase right there. But yeah, um, and then for those who are coming in, is a pretty I established game, though. I thought, I, right now, I, I thought in terms of fame-wise, um, right? I thought they brought it around uh, the same, actually, same level um, so fame-wise. Like, they're not something you would hear, ways, like, people yeah, mainly talk about. Because um, you're so talking about gotcha people out, online, to, right? Like the most stream? famous one is like um, it's like Genshin and, yeah, and Star and close, stuff. But we will be doing giveaways in the future, um, so you can look forward to giveaways in future Tavern Talks. But yeah, I hope everyone's excited to take on Elite Training Floor Three right here. So, gonna be fully honest, we're gonna go into this fight and we're not gonna win it. Um, I just want to show off. Um, so actually, I can do I can do one fight where we will where we will win. Um, also, as you guys can see, as we mentioned, there's gonna be quite a few adversaries added in the next few weeks. Eden was a um, but I did Eden can be four really uh, CTC. Tanky, so and then also because we can show off those dagger skills. Um, so anything, on, um, this game is inspired right by Eden. Um, let's do rank three first because it's gonna be really easy, and I can just show off. Canary but this game has pixel graphic, and, and we'll I like do it more than Eden. So. Of the EX floor, EX one, but we're not gonna win it. Um, 
Like the so HD, like the, the HD two D R is just too appealing for me for too. Like to just um, leave it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna fully max Raptor Flutter here, just to fully show this off. And, and just and like the boost and breaks is not just fun. Not only show her pursuit after, but basically just wipe him out with Canary alone. So I'm not gonna do anything else, except for just have Canary do this. Maybe not fully, but see, you can see right there. And we also got to be able to show off a dodge right there too, which is really nice. Yeah, if we were to do that again, um, we'd also be able to just break Gonska right here, which is really nice. Gonska scares you more than the main villains. That laugh is insane. I can see it. <laughs> Yes, uh, Octopath CCC is a mobile game um, available on Android and iOS. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so we're going to do this just to be able to show off some things, um, but... Uh, Fully aware that at some point we're going to opt out of this fight. If I were to predict, like, <laughs> the category schedule um, for the next few I'm months, right? Curious, so um, we have Kennedy and the man now. So, have a lot of people been we able to should definitely Boston get um, Erika next month, EX3 like, on the store. Really and then, able to, my I think we're guess Kermenia, is that they will space out a bit, maybe with, like, Ogin, I think. And then they might release the. Then they release the Live Live collab. Um, and they, then they release the Suzanto and Signa right before the list, yeah. Um, and then they thought they know it would be summer, I think. Yeah. Let's actually get um, that would not be a bad time span. Uh, attack on. So we don't get fully wiped out. But I've tried this a few times, mm -hmm. and um, often he wipes out Lars in one hit, which always surprises me. So we're going to see um, how well we can survive right there. But I'm going to get some regen on right now, just so we can get that on. Um, and yeah. <laughs> You gotta love that pursuit. It looks me. Like we said, like, uh, Canary really is, like, Dude, I do think his Japanese saver. name is cool, but... And also, whenever Canary For me, hit, right, um... I, she has a chance to dodge in, which like, is really nice. I heard that name on another, another game recently. Uh, it's Tekken. Like, I heard, like, that name, another name recently, like, in Tekken. So, like, I kind of got used to it, because there's another character named Lost, too. And it's, it's pronounced the exact same way in Japanese. Like, Rat and Lost has the same... Exact Japanese pronunciation, which is uh, that's uh, so <laughs> I still need to change, but I think like, Listen, I, can, I can get for the used first to time, it. Um, it hasn't happened. I've done this like three times, and Lars always just came out very first. Also, is a bad name, but the reason for Red Boons is Red Boons. Yeah, that's see, why I don't like name change either. I still think Red is cool for him, though. We break Gonska from like 27. And yes, we had Zanta to help out too, and we had Lavina, and we also have Ophelia here, hidden weaknesses. But it is pretty good in general, right there. Um, because, like, in top, like beside the Japanese pronunciation, right the, um, the whole. The whole word is just Which like is completely different. The, the letter and everything right is completely there. different. But just you. Uh, it's like it's like feeling it a name. Show off that break it potential. feels like a name localization rather than like a minor change. Um, Ophelia is great, and we actually do have the um, Ophelia Zanta um, so chosen guidance right next week. I never heard of that um, name if you before. Do you want a opportunity to be able to get Ophelia then? Um, yeah, I still use Ophelia in my main team because I really do think she's a great cleric, and I also just I love her ultimate. For those who are unaware, her ultimate right here um, will restore HP of all allies, and it will revive target if incapacitated. Um, I remember when I did Vasor of All Chapter Six, uh, the final fight there. I didn't think it was game. that ah. hard, but there was like a time Convalaria. or two where my, like, uh, one or two party members was wiped out, and I had her ultimate ready, and it was just it was really nice to be able it... to get my full team, and had my oh, full team there to be able is to Is it a mobile fight. game? Um, but I do really like her ultimate, and I also oh, have her like ultimate a U10, normal console game? Um, which will, I believe is 50% of max HP if you have it at U10 um, when she revives, which is really nice. But yeah, like her ultimate really is like 
a saver. It's another game that I've been like looking out for, but it's not in English really yet, too. so but, it's kind of sad. Um, but um, I, what was it called again? It's been a while since I've got the name. Let's see. It's like it's like fire gun something. I can't remember the name. Let me see if I can remember it. Um, a game. So light damage, it has the opening by the singer Eve. Well, it's only just basic attack. We can do some staff attacks right there too. Oh, um, yeah, I really um, do like. Tatarikas. Um, There's a game called Asta Tatarikas, I think, uh, and it's like also pixel graphic, ultimate. but also like fire emblem like. Um, so I'm also looking out for that one. One more break here. It's a mobile game with a version. Wrap this fight up, and not wrap it up by to finish it. Oh, it's kind of like triangle. What we want to show off here. But for me, I'm looking, uh, I don't think I'm interested in Nafa, though, because I already had, like, have interest in, uh, Asta Tataricus, so... But for some reason, like, the English version got delayed by quite a bit of time now. Yeah, um, these EX fights, also, there's a lot of HP, as you can see, so... Um, we have not won the... And also, like, um, I haven't really done so much to really, um, bring up our potency a lot. I'm more so just trying to... I thought what's good about Kanadi is that someone, like, willing can be affected by the potency but, up. Yeah. That shield shave in. Really nice in the end. Wait. I. See, yep. And then also, uh, yeah, we do also have Ophelia oh, for Encore. Oh, oh, I get it now, because Solon always switching out. Oh, it's Solon. Um, yeah, because really Solon benefit it. from. Um, so we're going to be able to. Ah, I get it now, because I was like, why Roland specifically? Because. Solan can't target from the back, These, and Roland want to keep switching advance. out from the back to the front. So, kind of the like, effect Roland, even in the back. I think we're going to do. Um, once we have broken them. Um, and this is a quick we want to see what we can do ultimate right here, which will deal dagger damage six times. We'll be able to break. Yeah, it's like, right it was just, it's, um, it was a 6-8 dagger only. It's, it's not that good, but it's a 6 hit really dagger nice. that's shield shape. So um, it's a 6 hit we'll shield shape. So it's pretty good. Um, and then if we want to go um, overkill right here, let's just uh, summon Stalin Worm too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sansa's attack sounds like a machine gun. It does, kind of. Look, well, there goes most of our party. <laughs> Actually, I should have used um, Wudai a bit more there. I take a few shots. Especially for pull Kanadi. arm attack that happens every every turn. I think it's it's nice to try for Kanadi, I think, because like you do get the chance, a higher chance to get the other character, like the other second place character. Um, but like if you want, you can just like go do Dodena and then just hope you there. get like Kanadi on the way um, or something. Yeah, just for fun. Hopefully. Um, I'm also gonna show off before we do wrap up with this battle. I'm gonna show off um Rainbow Collage and then I'm just gonna go max in right here. Cause it doesn't really matter. Um But just so we can show off Lemare's attack right here. It's a really fun animation to see all the different elements. <laughs> yeah, if we were to continue, I'm pretty sure most of our party would be wiped out with this next attack. <laughs> but yeah, just to show off, because we wanted to show off um, Canary right there. Um, like I said, very good at shield shaving. We were able to obviously. At the moment, only too, Leon would mention in the same place. Um, and Lavina, we were able I to say bring like, Od Odette too, I think, because Odette's value shields went shields up be because she got buff. She got like very. Which is pretty crazy. The buff and JP make her very strong. So Odette and Leon. Um, so, um, as uh, let's see, as Zenya too. Um, Zenya, Zenya, Zenya hasn't got any buff yet, though. I think um, Zenya is still good. Uh, but then again, the Dragon is coming out soon, so... Canary, but just for fun, we'll do that. Also, yeah, I guess, know, I guess Sanya, Leon, and the Dodena are the one that stand out the most right so now. Just noting that this obviously is later on in JP also, also like, one very strong too, know, though, in the boat team. Because um, this will be available next week, um, is, I mentioned it before, um, if you do the Union um, Guidances, um, we never really properly noticed this uh, elsewhere, but... Um, even if you do one guidance, you can get some oh, orbs, okay. um, which is really nice. I just want to note that. But like for instance, you can get, I believe, 50 bronze <laughs> wisdom orbs by doing one Only single two. guidance on a Union of Chosen guidance. You need 25, I think, to level them up for level 4, le silver, level 5. And you can get 2 gold. Or level 5, level 6. Just a nice little thing. If you ever and I think you get like free, uh, 2 for every 10. Uh, That's definitely interesting. Ruby, uh, first, so, first okay, so on the Union of Chosen out of everyone that got a new buff, right? The torch point buff, right? 
Cecily got the absolutely the best one. She's yeah, like we'll the, try, I, think I think she's like the best X character in JP we'll now. They give a double cast in um, Infinite BP region. Your, uh, like, I don't know, like, I don't know why they make it that strong, but it just uh, does. So in addition, we do have Sacred Blaze Travelers including Like Cecily is easily the, like the best X DPS in JP right now. Ah. Here comes Dan luck. <laughs> it's like, it's not even fair. The, the uh, level of buff the character get is so not even fair. Cecily got double cast in um, infinite boost point region. Scarecrow over there got a random 6 <laughs> uh, The torch point buff is not fair for some character, honestly. Any key for what getting? Well, the free one or the pay one? Because like you can get the free one for free. I haven't been. As lucky. But it was the pay one. Um, also, eventually there will be Eddie. Don't have all the four stars. Um, some of these That's travelers will be yep. for the set build specifically. We Wait, oh, is that Ochet or Odette? Um, like I can't tell you spell it with a C or D. That's like the ball has very similar names. So. Camilla. I really liked. I mentioned before. I'm I really very like Cecily but Camilla is very best. So I was lucky in her. Oh, set. Ah. I was looking at getting her off a secret too. Yeah. <laughs> Cecily Ryu will go off like will go up very high yeah, when she gets up the quietly buff. watching. <laughs> watching and waiting. This is the second time you saw the name. Well, yeah, I still can't I still can't get it. It's like either try to say or dead or chat. Um, and you have not played Traveler's Story? Uh, it's definitely worth playing it because you get a really nice introduction to Canary. In fact, I would say like Canary is probably featured just as much as Falco in Falco's Traveler's Story. She really steals the spotlight. Um, but yeah, you really get to know her and stuff like that. So if you do have Falco, um, and you have not checked out, um, his Traveler story yet, um, and you're interested in learning a, a bit more about Canary, um, I do recommend checking it out. That's kind of weird though, because the engine is like the pay shop, but they haven't used it's a pay shop much then. Story. You also get to learn why Falco looks so sad. And maybe one day they should just release <laughs> Chrome, like, out of his pay jail, put him and in a gen pool banner or something. Um, Pia's Traveler story is pretty fun too. Oh yeah, speaking of Fidelga is also and very strong too with the new buff. Fan, um, I think like Fidelga buff with uh, with Ian combined with JP will make her very strong too. It's just actually, that for these characters, right? For those three characters, Odette, um, Fidelga, and uh, Cecily. Traveler stories now. It's just that. I have all the four star travelers done. If you just get them double the cast, few, need to get with, they just um, become very, fragments. very strong. Um, that is all. And then working on my five star travelers. Okay, there we go. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. She got the hunted. Oh, wait, now I'm on. Long Hunter. <laughs> I mean, Hanet would be, uh, we'll, we'll call it Linde name. Okay, so what I think is better between JP6 double and Ian Roll? Uh, Ian Roll. Best win fan user I've heard. Nolan buff and JP is so bad. Like, Probably. maybe they saw the Ian buff and they anyway. realized that if, if, if they give, like, JP Roland, like, some strong buff. He would be too strong in Ian, but his buff in JP isn't that good, so... Um... I would say Ian Roland is much stronger than 6-star Roland in JP. Because, it would love one thing, right? Giving character like, double cast, or in I this case for Roland, an extra hit in his nuke, it's just... Ultimate, it's just... Out of it's, just training. it's just so strong. So double cast is so strong. I've been using like four it makes so many characters strong. Because there's always that requirement where you have to like break an enemy with a certain weapon. Um, and those are like the only missions I didn't get, especially like the lower level ones where like if you have like any good equipment on them, you wipe out the enemies in like one hit. <laughs> um, but I was going to say Trish is really good if you just get her um, like a level one weapon to be able to do those breaks and you want to use like a four star. But I've been using like four star travelers to be able to clear some of that uh, lower level ultimate training content. It's just been fun. Yeah, we got Jamila. Uh, 
Um, of the Sacred Blaze Travelers that have been released so far, um, who's everyone's favorite? Why do you, like, I know she was I'm the first, but shop. I still yeah. really do like They don't Odette. utilize it well. I like, admit. Nina, um, Nina has really a chance to be Pei Shop and the man too, but... Mm, I'd say as much as I feel so lonely for, for from I, I think it's better this way is that they not lock behind a paywall. And obviously, neither, <laughs> neither of us have Leon, who's great. It's like there's a trap too, because speaking from travelers that we do have. If you want, you just just put them in the pay shop and also like for free too. It's not that hard. What the heck? Um, any tips for a beginner? I would say take the game at your own pace, and then I um. <laughs> You don't have to, but I always do recommend for people who do start the game. Um, it's really your choice, but I always recommend that you do um, Master of Wealth first. Because that was the first storyline I did, and I just I think Master of Wealth is a great introduction. I love August. I love Master of Fame uh, too, but um, I just think getting to know the family, getting to know Bargello and Herminia, because we all know I love Herminia. Um, I think Master of Wealth is a great storyline to go with. Yeah, just take it at your own pace, enjoy it. Like, it is a full-fledged RPG um, that you will explore with a ton of story content um, and travelers to obtain. Um, but, yeah. And then also, obviously, a lot of people will recommend to, once you reach the certain point where you can uh, start doing Nameless Town quests, get your Nameless Town set up. It's always nice, too. Um, which is a nice little town that you can build, um, and you get some very nice daily rewards from... Once you do build it up. Mm. Oh, there we go. There we go. I need to guess she's she standing there. She her name for us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I did not doubt it one bit. I just knew it. <sighs> Although I do say one yeah, thing. Do, does Kanadi spread look a bit, like, simple? <laughs> Like kind of basic, it kind of like um, Peter and Fra. Like they are like not a notable character, but the sprite is kind of very yeah, simple. So, kind of these sprites kind of like that too for a character. Yeah, there we go. We'll do we'll do one more just for fun, even though we already got Canary. I'm I'm happy we got we got a Sacred Blaze Traveler with our guidance is here. Um. Also though, um. For fun, we can also do some veteran sacred seals, which we won't get canary, but um, we do have a few veteran sacred seals. We can see which five star travelers we get, and then from there, we'll I wonder how dice, she is. Um, we'll review slides and we'll wish everyone. Do we know how oh, how Falco is? Come on, Laura. We don't, uh... Let me go over here just still being angry. <laughs> Indeed. It would be funny if you do the Sacred Blaze Guidance and you get Falco. Jordan is pretty good, yeah. Um, I'm also privy to Paul, uh, Paula because um, her support skills are really nice and it's nice to have a Dark Dancer. Um, and then Lodo is really nice too because Lodo is like another top to PSV of JP. I, I will. Like, I did say... Uh, <clears throat> um, it's every half a year. It's every... It's every... Every 0.5 anniversary, so... <laughs> Limit right now. Yeah, so the next video will be... Um, I think it will be in May. Um, let's see these veteran secret seals. Once again, um, as noted, EX Hunnit will be available in Chance Encounters uh, beginning this Wednesday. I find it's plus um, HNT, right? I, have, I, 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 I think four veteran sacred seals. I don't know how to put that time, but I do know that currently Japan is. Because um, I actually do have everyone else hours, 13 hour, hour, I think it's like 13 hours ahead of um, where I am right now. Currently. Can I do so a read this week? Like Probably. <laughs> um, I'm 
Dead. He's he's <sighs> our nicest cleric out there. Definitely not medicine at all. <laughs> I, I do like Efrain too. If Efrain is like kind of a four star stead, he's just a or like a four stead Yon Long. He's just a very like nice like staff DPS. Actually, this one thing I do want to like this one problem I, I was thinking about uh, the spring, next time I do the video, like, right? Is I am changing up the way I rank him a bit, but this one thing that is hard to rank on, right? Do I include damage cap for the soul weapon? Oh, is that another? Because like in Celestia, in Celestia is um. Oh, get away! Come on, Gilderoy. So in Celestia, there's no soul weapon, so there's no way to increase damage Gilderoy cap. Also like one the... So I wonder if I should count that too, I because we the... do get no, more content Celestia Gilderoy's though. Scarecrow. But most of the content is Hard still to... in Ostera. Um... Original C C C like, there's some character that might be stronger in Austria, and there's some character that might be stronger than Celestia. It's kind of hard to rank them. So, like, do I, do I include the damage cap limit for the Moon Soul inside him? Or do I not? Because I don't want to make, like, separate Celestia and, like, a separate Austria thing. You said Celestia this week, right? Yep. Oh, that's Nicola. Just that guy. I'd love to see it. But yeah, those were the three five star travelers we got. It's also tricky because damage, damage. It's not quite how good you know. You're not really good damage, yeah, but you don't have single target I'm single. There. Yeah, um, it's like that's it's a I'm DPS ranking there. though. Like the other unit is strong too, but it's yeah, mostly a DPS um, ranking. So damage is everything here. Five star travelers. I want to know the like relationship between Ostara and Celestia. Like get they are connected it seems. Like the way that the story is going so far, it's like I it's implying that we might get a Xenoblade thing. Done, like if anyone plays Xenoblade, we might get like um, a Xenoblade event thing with Ostara and Celestia. And let's do that dice roll for today. Like same, like two so different universe, here. but like can, can we connect it or something? Hence why we got like two different uh, Alfred in one and two. You play a newspaper guy quest, right? That, that looks good. We'll go with a lovely Ah, is that something? Like, I got to the point where I had to collect Today's stuff and I just, like, just give up. <laughs> I need to finish so, yeah, that uh, then, because I, I, I did start it and I got the collecting part, but I didn't finish it yet. Of a camera. Um, so I can get a screenshot of it. Um, How was it meant that people underweight your damage? Just high ability, like, when they're on the same. That should be yeah, it's not the same central, thing. Like, just because they do the best damage doesn't mean, like, they're the best thing at it, but... It's like edit Erika, right? On paper, you, if go. you give time to Erika and that give her all the time to for her to in. prep up and everything, Erika would be the strongest, yes. Like uh, with all yeah, the points and stuff. But that we got if there, you we don't give her time for that um, and you so just want to do like normal battle as quick as possible, and, then Erika kind of sucks for that. Said, like it's just kind of depend, yeah. And they go over here. Um, we're just gonna very briefly review. You mentioned to sail. Well, cross or something. Oh, I did see it. Everything we did announce. I, I didn't pay as much attention to it though, because I thought like detail. it was um something like Sekai, like for that you know, but like with like that's not Sekai. Um, but I'm gonna go right here. Well, cross a so as a reminder world. for everyone. Something um, about two world. Well, be when I didn't like think I paid attention much to it because I didn't thought it was they would reveal something like that in a side quest. What is what I mean? In terms of filling out the form, it will be closed in just about three hours. From now, um, so as usual, please do make sure that you have filled out the form. It's very important. There's another way to have Celeste. Uh, yeah. And make sure that you do get your entry in if you do want to get your entry in. Uh, thank you to everyone who did well, that. I should really pay attention to uh, more to that quest. Race, and we did reach thank you for bringing me notice that. I guess I'll finish it now. Um, and we hope everyone has enjoyed the Dragon Warrior for the so old yes, people. Yes, thank you for everyone for entering. Just please do make sure that if you have entered, you have filled out the form um, before 7 p.m. PDT tonight. Because we already see it in game, like a Greek, right? We uh, always yes, seen her in Celestia and Ostera. Because she was in like the um, the place where Oberg and was and she was already there greeting Sarah Celestia. So this week and you'll be able to obtain Lycan, uh who is um 
sorry, I'm gonna get caught up here on my notes right here. Yeah, you'll be able to you'll be able to receive the divine beast lichen by by completing part two of the story, and you'll also be able they to don't want to be allowed it. Um, I know a lot of people were very excited for. They don't mind. Some wolves in chat. Um, got, I, I, well, I mean, many comments about I think it's fine because my stream doesn't have any wolf with that, so I think it's I think it's fine. You'll be able to receive these four dogs featured on screen. Fine. Um, as part of completing Ember Flame Story Quest. So I hope everyone looks forward to that. That'll be arriving this Wednesday. Along with that, we do, we do have Canary, who has received um, ex exclusive buffs outside of Japan. Um, and we detailed all those buffs. But yes, as noted, uh, Canary will be a Sacred Blaze Traveler, and she is the sister of Falco, who is also Data a mine out to see, to see Korea. So can I make play video so as we know, Go uh, ahead. What's really cool about uh, Canary is she is basically. It's the reason why I had the time on the top. It's the reason why I had the time of the top, really the time uh, of the top left anyway. So go ahead, it's fine. Um, with her support skills and with Include her skills all of in general. Include Allah for so on and Darisha. Beautiful thief uh, sees that she is in part of thief's evasion, which will see that she uh, dodges some attacks um, when a, when a foe tries to hit her. Then, uh, with I forgot squad, about him. I forgot to mention him. The guy that fight us in the Magadi Cup. For how many uh, Thieves of Asian Cup that she has up to. Also, is it Lelisha or is it Larisha? Really or is it Lelisha? It's Lelisha, not Larisha. Um, as we noted, um, everything in red here is everything that has been uh, buffed specifically. So these are all the, the potent changes that have been made to her skills. And we did go a bit more in detail about all of those. But as you guys can see, there's quite a few that's been changed in the sense that they've been pretty sensual with Louis lately. Now we're talking about Ian and, and JP. Um, has some additional effects, including lower physical attack and elemental attack. Because I think Ian is more generous with, than JP, uh, though. But we're talking about JP, attack. and JP is always uh, like that. Burst, she can, um, Ian, increase huh? the attack count all the way up to five with a max. So on Alicia will both apart and Craig, but Sarah has a different we'll name and it was a D. Like we did before, but just note uh, there is mm. very worthy skills right here. Uh, so yes, Canary will be featured on a Sacred Blaze Guidance, and there will be a uh, step up, which will be a paid step up, which will guarantee a five-star Sacred Blaze Traveler in slot 10, with a 50% chance to be Canary uh, for that five-star Traveler. And then there will also be a Sacred Blaze Guidance, free Ruby Guide Light, and you'll be able to trade 200 Sacred Blaze Fragments uh, for Canary's Sacred Seal. In addition, um, you'll be able to receive um, 100 free rubies on the 27th, and you'll be able to receive a Sacred Blaze Signet that can be exchanged for Canary's exclusive accessory, the Beautiful Thieves Quote. So if everyone looks forward to those login bonuses, they'll be available this Wednesday. We also know that there will be four Go fell as the Sacred Blaze is the, special rubies. Isn't that the guy with Nina Lana? I uh, think. Beginning this week until April 17th. Um, so yes, there will be the return of disc discounted ruby sets, and then there will also be a... Um, but I will also say this, okay? But I think... I did see some data mine before, and I do know one thing. There are a lot of data mine characters that have been data mine before, but those characters uh, have hasn't been released yet at all. This week. Uh, and we showed off the enemy like, uh, it's not just really only in the, um, in the Korea uh, server, like, I think at one point, did someone did say that there was a bunch of data mine character um, in the file, receive, but uh, those characters, the folder character, um, they didn't see that much, detail, like, they won't, uh, even though they were in there, they won't, the that doesn't mean they will see play eventually. Because, Great data mine was existing for a while already, um, and same for addition, like same for the man too. So, Commander uh, Titos and Delvicio, and we also announced that Ex Hanet will be added to Chance Encounters, which is really nice. And we also did detail some special, lovely special tasks that will be available. Custody Echo Syndrome. A lot of stuff earlier in Echo was data mine, but we know a lot of it got changed, so some of it might come. Yeah, so with all these characters that we've seen listed so far, um, I think I'm pretty sure that they were originally a Sterra character, but they were really made to be a Celestia character. Following that, we do have some other things arriving on the They don't mind become an actual character with like Hami, Magadi, and Huge Up. Which will be a free Ruby step up featuring Ophelia and Santa. And step five will guarantee a five star Ophelia or Zanta in slot 10. Um, in addition, there will be a guy. So that's okay, that's the same for these characters, right? Because they had like Ostera vibe to them. Like, you feel like we also very did announce Ostera uh, to them. So, very fortunately, uh, there will be the return of uh, Punish the Crafty Kate Hunts uh, from April 3rd to April 9th. And so, as a reminder for everyone who wants a ton of extra experience um, through these hunts, 
Um, I believe it's Thursday that you want to start saving your hunt tickets up so that you have seven available on uh, the April 3rd, that Wednesday. Um, so you can use a ton of tickets to be able to look at those experience. But we always like, we always like to let people know in advance um, so you can save your hunt tickets. Um, so yes, I'm very much looking forward to getting the extra experience and hope everyone looks forward to Crafty Kate Hunts arriving next week. Following that, we did announce um, on April 10th, La Mer will be another traveler arriving to Octopath 2 c uh, La Mer is a dancer that can strike all elemental weaknesses across all of her skills. And so she does have a dedicated skill. For Was the OS of, character um, that's still using JP? Armor, and she also has some bonus effects that can affect the front yeah, row. Yeah, it's probably real, because we all got the buff and really make nice. a decent. Um, and she also does her Rainbow Collage, which is a skill that will deal elemental fire, ice, Lightning, wind, light, and dark damage one time each of single foe. So it will hit all el all elements with that skill specifically. And her ultimate will also do the same. And yeah, and Lemaire will be featured on two guidances. There'll be a fortune step up, Chosen Traveler Lemaire, which will be a paid ruby guide light. And then there'll also be a Chosen Traveler Lemaire, which will be a free ruby guide light. In addition, we also know that on April 10th, there will be even more adversaries added to the adversary log. You'll be able to take on Augusta the Playwright, Augusta the uh, Prince of Thieves, Gimel the Brijan, Leader, and Judah the Believer in the adversary log. And you'll also be able to receive Arcana Stones for Augusta the Playwright, Gimel the Brijan, Bri Bri uh, Leader, and Judah the Believer uh, will also be available to obtain. And we also announced, chat seemed very excited, uh, we do have some two very adorable cats that will be available to obtain on April 10th as new keepers. <clears throat> Plus, Can we have a temple? Uh, not really. It may as well watch it when you get her off banner. Um, and uh, some very nice rewards here. Most notably, we did announce that you'll be able to receive one veteran sacred seal by completing the second floor of master training. And also there is some very nice task for completing elite training floors. By completing the first floor of elite training, you'll be able to receive 50 rupees. Mm. Complete second floor, you'll be able to receive 50 rubies. And complete the third floor, you'll be able to receive 100 rubies. So if everyone looks forward to these new special tasks, that'll be available on April 10th. And then lastly, we announced that our next Tavern Talk will be on April 22nd, and we'll detail everything that arrives with the 2.10 update then. And we just ask that uh, players look forward to um, in-game notices and anything else regarding any other updates that do come to the game until this point, outside of what we announced today. The art pose is so satisfying. Yeah, I really do like La Mer's sprites. Um, and her concept art is really nice too. Overall. Let me just go back here for a second. And then, ta-da! Um, we are back to our tavern cell, uh, our, our taco cells. So yes, uh, thank you for everyone <laughs> um, who joined us today. Congratulations to our winners. I did see that we did receive some whispers from some of our winners and we'll make sure that we do reach out um, to the rest of our winners. But if you are a winner here in chat, um, and we have not reached out to you within a day or two. Please do make I sure think the luckiest one is being on people like carried that out. Proceed with the giveaway. And so cool. Um, really, also really good. Um, but yes, congratulations to our 10 winners. I think there's a lot of, today. Um, very like, I think there's a lot of people giveaway. though, because. Um, and thank you for everyone that hung out today. And I hope everyone looks forward Erika, to Erika, a lot for like Erika, right? Okay, and the same with the Itarena. Debut of Canary. Like, they all, like, they all look good and not very strong too. And, and then it's for me, I like Greg, but Greg isn't uh, that good. Well, she's decent, dogs. but... Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if we had stream on a Tuesday, it, this would have been a Taco Tuesday, um, which which would have been great. But um, since we do stream normally on Mondays, we want to let everyone know um, closer in advance um, everything that's arriving. Um, very thankful we were able to stream on this Monday. But yeah, we did do a Taco stream today because it's the closest we are going to be to April Fool's. Um, so we can consider this our April Fool's Tavern Talk mm -hmm. for what for what it's worth. Um, but yes, uh, happy Taco Tuesday in advance. But yeah, thank you for everyone that hung out today. I still like what is looks funny. I hope everyone has a great. Oh yeah, speaking of, not think of their March. What is the character April, that looks very good in the flash shot, but it's like it's not really that good until um, fighting? Make sure that you do. Because I know um, Greg is kind of one. Because I really, sure I really like for, Greg, but uh, she isn't that good. So who else is like that? Like um, look pretty good, but like isn't that good? Ten, and then the rewards will be delivered next month. Donna, oh, maybe five star. star. Said, thank you guys for all bringing the out. I hope everyone Lewis. has a great rest mm. of their day. And. This is goodbye from our taco selves. We can't really wave. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, we can't. We can't, we can't really wave. We can only. We can only emote. 
Um, mm-hmm. But with that being said, uh, thank you guys mm-hmm. for hanging out. I can't really think of one. We'll see everyone very soon. We might be, I can think of some, yeah. one the Bye opposite. Guys. is um, Solon. And good luck on your polls, everyone. A lot of people doesn't really care about Solon in the store. Oh, Altrex! Altrex is another example. I just, I just think of it. It's Altrex. But Solon is the, the opposite of that because um, he's not a really like a hive character in the story, but in terms of fighting, he's extremely strong. So it's like that. Such a long but not very exciting shit. Was, was all, uh, Haze? I would say, I think Haze is decent, but yeah. Uh, I kind of use it in JP stream where they do a lot of talking too. But at least we have much more new info from that, so... But this is fine too. But that's it for the stream now. Thank you everyone for watching, and... Bye-bye!